What is Phoenix Contact's high-speed connection system for the ROCK 800? We're going to wire an I.O. card with it and find out. This is a ROCK 800 RTU. Although we're going to focus our comparison on the analog input card, the benefits you're about to see apply to many other I.O. cards as well. To begin, the standard screw terminal blocks used with the I.O. card are removed and replaced with a Phoenix Contact I.O. adapter. This adapter easily and securely pushes into the exposed terminal block sockets and then provides a 10 position ribbon connection point that will be featured shortly. With the adapter completely connected to the I.O. module, let's move on to the terminal blocks. Most notable here is the fact that the wide rows of traditional terminal blocks used to connect the field to the I.O. module are replaced by a single field termination assembly, also known as an FTA. These FTAs come in a passive feed-through variant and a functional variant with pluggable components. The passive FTAs feature field I.O. terminal markings specific to each I.O. card, a spring-loaded metal DIN foot for an easy, yet vibration-resistant, DIN rail mounting, and they come in either traditional screw termination or our robust PT push-in termination. All of this in less than an inch and a half of DIN rail space. The function modules have features specific to each I.O. card, but most offer pluggable fuses, LED blown fuse indication, shield terminals with integrated DIN grounding foot, and optional board power. All of these features pack into a roughly two and a half inch wide housing and feature an extended operating temperature range of negative 40 to positive 60 degrees Celsius. A really cool feature for the AI and AO FTAs is the per-channel configurability for current or voltage applications. For each channel, you can select which measurement type you need at the flip of a dip switch. This eliminates the task of adding individual resistors to the screw terminals of the I.O. module, which is tedious and often results in lots of fumbled and lost resistors. The only thing needed to connect the FTA to the I.O. card is a 10-position ribbon cable. Simply plug one end into the I.O. adapter and the other into the FTA. All of your field signals are now connected back to the ROCK 800. Just like that, you're all ready to move on to the next I.O. card. Still need convincing on how Phoenix Contact Solution stacks up? Check out the next video in the series to watch a side-by-side, -side, timed race between our high-speed connection system and traditional wires and terminal blocks.